weather windows we have now, they're much shorter. So any, any piece of equipment we buy has to be up to the job, has to be hard wearing. When, when we are running, we need to be going at 100% you know, all the time. So I'm James, farm manager at Cannington Enterprises, large farm based in Somerset, southwest of England. We farm around about five and a half thousand acres, a large chunk of that being maize to go in the uh, RAD plant. We also grow hybrid rye, forage rye, grass and uh, winter wheat. And we run a fleet of John Deere's and a couple of fence and a crone forager. So I think we've had NC tankers for about 18 months now. We bought four from Hunt Boris Group, all of air brakes, they've all got loading arms with turbo fills on, all got central greasing points, so yeah, they're pretty well up there spec-wise. So we needed to be able to fill up out of the yard where we've got pods, so it had to have a, an arm, and obviously turbo fill is, makes it quicker. And then we also have to have the top fill, so, so the vat can um, suck out of it. So that was, a, that was like the two stipulations large pump which has got a large pump on it for speed of filling and they've got two outlets on the rear for uh, for putting the pipes on which we don't use it often but we needed to be able to do it because one lagoon we have got you need to put a pipe on so yeah we went the hydraulic for safety because uh, you know PT guard, PTO guards are always breaking and they're just so dangerous aren't they it's just uh, I guess it's the new modern way of doing things and it's you know it's the safest way come up to the pod put your arm down Put the, turn the pump on, the hydraulic pump on, and uh, yeah, don't have to get out. Comes up on the sight glass, how much is in there, and then he drives to the field with a vat, puts his arm out, sucks it out, and yeah, that's, that's basically how we do it. You don't get covered in slurry, and it's just cleaner. So they're all um, lorry axle type uh, setups. They're all, you know, they'll take the take the beating they get on the road. We have big brakes, which we service in house every six weeks. Never had a problem with them, Tom she. So I think the limiting factor in this country is uh, gross train weight. So we're, we're limited to, I think it's 32.5 tonne or 31.5 tonne. And that's kind of why we've gone for this size because it, it, it fits in with that uh, any bigger and we're you know pushing the limits of the law really. As long as everything's going okay, we generally keep the tankers for five, six years and then re replace them then. The most important thing is that they do the job. Resale value, that's great, but really it's got to, got to do the job whilst we've got it. Uh, every year we probably produce 50 or 60,000 tonne of slurry. So between them, that's kind of what they move. Uh, we run right over the east side of Bridgewater to the west side, and then right down over the other side of the Quantock, down to uh, Williton. So it's, we're, we're 15 miles down there, and you're 10 miles that way, and probably 10 or 12 miles that way. So yeah, fair, fair bit of running around. That's why we bought the NCs because they are up to the job and the quality's good. We definitely buy them again.